Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to further the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of his truth that leads to godliness. To Titus, my true son in our common faith, grace and peace from God the Father in Christ Jesus our Savior. You know, I didn't grow up as a Christian, and my excuse for not becoming a Christian was Christians. All the Christians I met, they said this, but they lived a different way. I was completely disillusioned. We all understand that our beliefs and our behaviors need to tell the same story. The gospel's power, and it's authenticated by how we love people. You are the greatest Christian someone knows. And you know what? They watch you and they observe you. He says it takes good people, people who are defined by God as good, to bring about light and darkness. Moral issues that have been biblical for 2,000 years are eroding, not just outside the church, but inside the church. You have to have the courage to say, wait a second, let's look at what the Bible says. We need to take a strong stand for truth because truth guards grace. What's he wanna do in you that would change that narrative? That when people think of followers of Jesus, they would think of kind, loving, holy, the kind of people that are, are you ready? That are a lot like Jesus. The most dangerous position in all the world is to intellectually agree with the gospel, but not have a genuine conversion of mind and heart and will where the evidence of Christ in your life is making a difference. This isn't a guilt trip, this is a grace trip. The grace of God produces a new kind of life because it reveals God's passion for a lost world and they know about Him by how we treat them. Doing good isn't something that you do because you earn God's love. Doing good is something because you have God's love. Let me encourage you and your group, experience the love of God and do good like never before.